If you want to know what is an SPL20 NFT and how to create it, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to create your own SPL20 NFT collection step by step. Before starting directly with the process, I'm going to explain you a little bit about SPL20 NFTs. SPL20 is how we call inscriptions in Solana. It's exactly the same concept that Bitcoin inscriptions. The only difference is related to NFTs. So basically an inscription is an image storage directly on chain. In this case, standard NFTs on Solana have their image storage in third party service, a survey, for example. In SPL, no. In SPL, the image is directly attached storage on the Solana blockchain. So the difference we have between Bitcoin and Solana is that in Solana, these inscriptions are linked to an NFT. This concept has been created by Libreplex and they argue that this experience is much more interactive than the standard NFTs. We can use their website to create our own SPL20 NFT and we are going to do that in this video. We can trade SPL20 NFTs as usual in any marketplace. For example, we can go here to Magic Eden and we will see so much SPL20 collection pumping in the top. Uh, we can see here the sub 1000 uh, inscriptions. One important thing is that the most valuable thing about the inscription is how early it has been inscribed. That's why it has generated all this FOMO we have right now on Solana with SPL20. I can show you, for example, this collection, which is the first NFT collection on, on chain. So that's why it's really popular and it has a 300 sold floor price okay we can also highlight other collections like souls spl fu lamp or any others so let's go directly to the process on how to create our own spl20 before starting with the process we need to talk about cost as we are directly inscribing our nft image on chain as we are storing our image on chain the cost is much more expensive than as the usual cost we need to pay for creating an NFT. So in this case, we can roughly say that we are going to pay 0.07 Solana per 10 kilobytes. So here we have a chart. For example, per megabyte, we are going to pay seven Sol. So if we wanna upload a whole NFT collection, uh, it will be kind of expensive if we don't compress the image. Hey, sorry for disturbing. This is just a reminder to smash the like and subscribe button and that the Smithy is the all-in-one management software for an NFT project. If you are creating an NFT project or managing one, you should try it for free on smithy.io. We will provide you analytics and management tools that will help you improve your project performance while slashing cost. Also, before starting, you need to take on account that you can only inscribe NFTs that you have created or you have the update authority. You can't inscribe an NFT from other collection you have not created. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an NFT and inscribe it. You can also do the same with a whole collection that, for example, you can create on launch by NFT or you can hire any developer to make it. In this case, for this video, I'm going to create an NFT here in this website. You will have the link in the description for sure. And uh, let's start directly with the process. So basically this is a tool that allows us to create our own NFT in just one, two minutes, okay? So we just need to select the image. We can, I'm going to select this one. This is for creating the NFT, okay? The animation fail. Uh, I'm going to upload the same image. The name of the NFT will be a smithy. For me, you can select the one you want. Now the symbol and we continue with description. The all in one management software for NFT projects. This will be my description. We can set the website too. Let's do it. Okay, smithy.io. And we can select if we are uploading an image, video or anything. We set the royalties for the NFT. Take on account that on inscription when people buy the inscription will need to buy the NFT, so they will be paying royalties too. We can add attributes to the metadata, in this case I won't do that, and we can add different creators' address for receiving the royalties. Let's continue and we can just click on create the NFT. 
we are uploading the image we need to confirm a transaction perfect now we are signing a transaction for finishing the upload we continue with uploading the animation confirm perfect now another sign and to finish we need to upload metadata and we finish creating the whole nft this is the fee okay 0 0.02697 perfect we confirm and we will have our nft created in just some seconds perfect now we have our nft created we can see it on solana svm for example let's see perfect here we have our nft with the image we uploaded and everything you can check our wallet let's see if we have it here um okay here we have it perfect so now that we have our nft we can go directly to inscribe the nft on chain for doing that we are going to use libreplex which is the the website of the creator of this standard okay we go to libreplex.io and we click on inscriptions here we need to connect our wallet okay phantom and here we can see the last inscriptions created the number and everything and for creating our own we can go to view your wallet and we will see all the nfts we have on our wallet here and here we see if we have the update authority or not in this case i have created this before so i can edit it and we need to look for the nft we have the authority i will go to the last one because i have just created it here we have so as we can see here we can create the inscription we click on the button and we can initialize the the process perfect we sign a transaction okay here we can see the step two: choose source and resize we can set the original source which is the nft image in this case we should pay eight souls eight soul because of the image size so i will upload a custom one i have compressed the image we can we can see this one here and now it's too much cheaper it's pixelated but it is what it is so now we can click on resize we need to confirm a transaction perfect and we can click again to confirm the resize and now we have the last step which is just inscribe we click on inscribe we need to sign another transaction and here we have the last step completed perfect now as you can see we have it inscribed we can see it on on the scanner of libreplex and here we have our inscription nft created in just a few minutes we have the original nft and the image storage on chain or inscription now we can go to magic eden tensor etc to list or nft collection if you want to or look for the nft and also something important is that we have the inscription mutable it means that we can change the image or the nft if we want to but we can make it immutable if we want to okay perfect so now we have our own inscription in solana we have our own spl20 we know what it is and how to create it hope you liked the video thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one bye bye